Tonight, a woman is in the hospital hoping for a miracle as she fights cancer. She's inspired many by giving a home and a family to hundreds of kids who otherwise wouldn't have had one. And tonight, some of those now grown kids want to share her story. Local 2's Courtney Gilmore explains. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad you came today. Even in a hospital bed, Donna Myers refuses to let cancer take away her smile. We're not hoping. We're expecting a miracle. Cars, flowers, and praying hands have surrounded Donna since she got to the hospital. Pain in her lower abdomen led to several tests, one diagnosis after the other, and then her family was hit with a bombshell. He came in and said that she has stage 4 cancer. And that um, it was 14 nodules were found in the um, bottom half of her lungs. The disease also spread to Donna's brain. Her family says they're in shock. And I kind of just broke down in my room. Donna has two biological children, two children she adopted, and more than 200 children that she's fostered over the last 25 years. They all call her mom. With the help of her late husband, she raised them at their home on Bethel Ranch, always driving home the notion they're not forgotten. Even though their, their biological parents may have let them down, fathers have, have abused them, that um, there was a heavenly father that loved them more than anything in the world. Eventually, Donna had to quit her high-paying job. The family had to downsize and move, but the sacrifice was worth the investment. I was a wild kid back then, and she, I had no one that cared for me, no one that loved me. And she's the first person to actually show that she actually cared for me and that she, she wanted the uh, best for me. Without any insurance and little money, her family is concerned Donna won't receive proper treatment. Um, medically, um, all the tests show that this is it for my mom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, we believe that God's not done with her yet. Courtney Gilmore, KPRC Local 2.